When you perceive a sudden danger, stress is good. Clenched muscles, rapid breathing, and faster heartbeats, these help you fight or flee from the danger. This acute stress begins and ends quickly. When the danger goes away, your body returns to normal. In our modern lives, unfortunately, stress often becomes chronic. The perceived danger never completely goes away. New threats appear so quickly that your body stays on continual alert. A bad boss, worrisome money problems, caring for an elderly relative. Some come from inside, perfectionism, envy, discouragement, self-doubt. This chronic lingering stress overtaxes your body and can lead to heart disease, stroke, diabetes, obesity, headaches, and many other problems. In your brain, chronic stress can worsen dementia symptoms. This is how chronic stress operates in your brain. First, a perception of danger arouses your amygdala, your brain's fear center. The amygdala causes a release of cortisol, a stress hormone. Cortisol harms the electrical signals in your hippocampus, causing them to deteriorate. And remember, the hippocampus is where your memories reside. Your hippocampus begins making fewer cells. In this way, chronic stress contributes to cell death. When compromised by beta amyloid plaques, lack of sleep, a degraded blood-brain barrier, toxins from pollution or from other causes, stress further weakens your vulnerable brain cells and they die. Fear, stress, damage, cell death, which triggers more stress, damage, and more cell death. It's a vicious cycle. And cell death, along with the accumulation of beta amyloid plaques and tau tangles, are hallmarks of Alzheimer's dementia. But don't despair, there's hope. You can have a dramatic impact on chronic stress and reduce your risk of Alzheimer's dementia at the same time. First, remove yourself from needless stressors whenever possible by getting up earlier, completing tasks in time, recognizing your limits, refusing to engage in arguments. You can also eliminate coffee, sugar, and some medications. Second, exercise. Exercise releases feel-good endorphins in your brain, relaxes you, and decreases anxiety. For stress reduction, low to moderate exercise is enough. Walking, yoga, dancing, calisthenics. The repetitive movements help to lull your anxiety away. Third, meditate. When you meditate, you transport yourself away from everyday life to a place where you can relax, gain perspective, and re-energize yourself. You have lots of options. Choose a technique that fits comfortably into your lifestyle and worldview. Whatever you choose, meditation will relieve the effects of stress, calm your hormones, increase your empathy for others and your kindness to yourself, and you'll feel so much better. Stress can be good. It can even save your life. However, when stress itself becomes the danger, you'll need to take steps to manage it. Your brain will thank you.